Welcome back guys to our Android programming tutorial series on Android material designing. In this video series, we are learning about the toolbar. In the previous video, we had implemented the toolbar and set the title and the subtitle for the toolbar in our application. This was our application that we had made, set the navigation icon, title and the subtitle. In this video, we will be learning about making our application compatible with all the devices using the Java codes as well as the XML file. Let me comment this set navigation icon attribute because it was not according to the Google standards. Now let us proceed. In the toolbar.xml where we have defined the toolbar for our application, let us define another property, set elevation. Now guys, this is the set elevation attribute that we have defined. But here we have a warning. Attribute elevation is only used in API level 21 and higher but the current minimum is 17. So what do we need to do for that? We will define another layout folder that will extract the toolbar for API level 21 and above. It is similar to the values and values v21 folder. That is we had defined a styles.xml file in the values v21 folder and the styles.xml file in the values folder. This styles.xml was extracted when the device was 21 and above. But this styles.xml in the values folder was extracted where the current minimum was below 21. Whereas this styles.xml from values v21 folder was extracted for the devices with lollipop and above version. Similarly, we will define another layout folder that is layout v21. The directory name is layout v21 and the resource type is layout. Click OK. And now we have layout v21 folder. Let us copy this toolbar.xml file into the layout v21 folder with the same name as toolbar.xml. And here in the v21 folder in the toolbar.xml we don't see any warning. Let us remove the elevation property from this toolbar file. So this is how the compatibility works. When the devices have API level 21 and above, the toolbar.xml from layout v21 will be extracted. But when it is below 21, the toolbar.xml from the layout folder will be extracted. Same way, let's move to the standalone toolbar.java and see how we can set the compatibility for the elevation property that is maintaining compatibility by Java code. We can see set elevation is showing an error. The error says the call requires API level 21 and the current minimum is 17. So what do we need to do for it? So for maintaining compatibility by Java, we need to check if our current API level is above 21 or not. We had learnt about this code in our previous video series. We will just add the if statement to check if the SDK version is above or equal to 21. If it is above or equal to 21, the elevation property will be set for the toolbar and if it is not, we will not have any elevation in the toolbar in our application. So now let's run our application and see if it is working or not. So here is our application up and running. On clicking the standalone toolbar button, we see our activity for the toolbar. We can see here there is an elevation below the toolbar. My virtual device has the API level 23. Therefore, the elevation property is seen below the toolbar. But when we run our application on devices having the API level below 21, this elevation property cannot be seen. Now guys, this was just one example of the attribute that requires compatibility setting. There are many more such attributes where we need to write this if condition or we can write those attributes in the if condition. Let us see few more of them. Now guys we can see the set padding attribute. In the documentation we can see Android API 23 platform. This way there are many more attributes that requires the compatibility setting. 
Now I would like you to go through it by yourself and learn more about the toolbar and the compatibility settings. So guys in our next video we will be learning about the pop-up menu and including various menu icons in our toolbar. We will also be learning about how to customize the pop-up menu and the toolbar in the upcoming videos. If you like the video do share and leave your comment below the video. Subscribe to our channel and help us grow. I also have given the link for the source code of the entire module below in the description. You can go there and refer to it. That's all for this video. For further videos stay tuned, keep smiling and have a good day.